up, y'all? Ohio Kazamasu. My name's Aaron. <laughs> and welcome to the Boku Cast. And today episode what episode is it? Oh, oh yeah, episode sixteen. Today episode we're gonna talk about random stuff like last week. So apparently you guys lo- you guys like you guys pretty love last week's episode when when I talk about my when I talk about my freaking origin story and how I became Bokusatsu and all that other junk. So yeah, we're gonna talk about when we're gonna talk about well, we're gonna talk about well, that nah, kind of today's topics. We're gonna talk about Geki Ranger, Dawn Brothers, Burritos. They kind of have a reason I talk about burritos, and now the Owl House. So okay, let's begin. Geki Ranger. I'll be watching this show and I'm loving it. No joke. Like uh last time we last time I watched Geki Ranger was, was like two years ago. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. Last time I watched Geki Ranger, that was uh, two years ago. And, uh, I enjoyed it. As he did. It was good. Not one of my favorites, but it was good. I enjoyed it. And I'll be watching it now because, well, why not? I need I need something like a Toby show to watch in quarantine. Well, <clears throat> well that was Geki Ranger for me. I'm loving it. I'm actually enjoying it, though. I'm not gonna lie. Is uh, <laughs> I'm almost done. I think I'm on. I think I'm on, I think I'm on episode like what, forty one? I think. And that's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Very kid in the show. Probably go, ran, and meal. I love meal. Meal's my wife. I will marry that girl. But uh, her simply for Ryu. God, God, stop, though. <laughs> that kid is meal. Kid is sir. So much more, so much justice. Just saying, Ran, Ran's hot. I like Ran. Ran's hot, and I would marry her as well. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm saying, I like Eki Rangers. That's a good show. Because of that, I'm I'm getting nostalgic vibe from Jungle Fury from watching it. Oh, duh, of course, because it's the Sentai version of Jungle Fury, but still. Uh, it's good shit. It's good shit. It's like Dawn Brothers, you know? Because Dawn Brothers is just... Okay, no, I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say this. Everyone on Dawn Brothers is high as heck. Everyone on that show is just so high. They're, they're, they're smoky. They're, <laughs> they're smoky the good stuff. For record, I don't condone uh, smoking or any of that. But, uh... But, uh, Dawn Brothers... Shit, uh, Dawn Boys, it just feel like, it just feel like all the characters in Dawn Boy are high as fuck. Like, it just felt like, it just felt like that they're on random shit. Like, okay, guys, listen, okay, okay, y'all motherfuckers are hungry for chili dogs or whatever, but, but goddamn, okay, listen, I know, when you're high, you get the munchies. When you're high, you want to play video game. When you're high, you go on GTA, you go on GTA online do random shit on there when you're high you do random shit all the time <laughs> all the time i don't really do man want to buy the way this is coming from me but you feel like everyone dawn brothers isn't normal well like i said the whole show is normal i'm saying we got a we got a red ranger who's in love with his arch enemy we have a blue ranger who's broke as fuck Excuse my language. Have a yellow ranger that's uh, crazy, crazy, protect, crazy riser, Well, they say that she is one, but again, then I actually don't know. <laughs> we got a black ranger who's trying to find his old girlfriend, but yet, yet, we seem to find out that uh, she's been somewhat brainwashed. We kind of say, and now she's the wife of his other teammate. Kinji brother, you know our, our beloved, our beloved male simp Pink Ranger. Dude, I have not watched the, I have not watched the episode this week yet. I'm going to very soon, but I did watch the preview and goddamn that, goddamn my boy Kinji had that creepy smile again. Last time I saw that smile was when was when he killed that one Kira Major uh, monster. That was, that was based on Kira Major. Ay ay ay, ay ay Okay, no, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. 
Kenji's gonna be in despair. I have a feeling he is. He better, he better not be like Kaiser. I fucking hate Kaiser. I'm sorry, but I do not like Kaiser. I know a lot of people like him for a reason. Just for me, Kaiser doesn't work for Fies. That's just my unpopular opinion. Well, what I'm saying, nine, what I'm saying, the show, the show doesn't work in general. And no, in no way had, no way had a plan to piss people off with fives and it worked. And that's, that's why the show's popular. It's just for me that when I look back at my time watching fives, I try to think about, okay, what the heck is the plot? What the heck, what, what the heck are the motives of these characters? There are none. It's like, there are none. Like for real, people overhype Fies saying that, oh my god, Fies is so good, Fies is awesome, Fies is this, this, and this. I'm like, really? Because when I watched Fies two years ago, nothing happened, nothing happened in my eyes. Like, sorry though, it's true, no, like, nothing happened in my eyes. The only, like, good thing about that show is talking to me. I fucking love talking to me. He's He's relatable to me as a person. I too trying to find my own dream, but now I'm supporting others just like him. <laughs> but uh, besides that, I don't know, dude. Fives is just Fives is overrated, yes. But at the same time, I don't see what's so good about that show. The show doesn't have a plot. The characters are just one dimensional, and like the final villain is just. Is he even a final villain? It's stupid. So, so you're telling me, so you're telling me that, uh, so you're telling me that, that, the, so you're telling me that out of nowhere, the show introduced the Orphodon, Orphodon King, then yet, lay, yet, then yet, lay down the line, it do like a little bit of a time stamp, and, uh, bam, bam, apparently the Orphodon King is hanging out with the Fires crew. I don't fucking know. It's stupid. The show's stupid. It's so stupid. And this is coming from me, a guy. This is coming from me, a guy doesn't even like Ryuki. Okay, my bird man. Okay, my my bad. Why is that thing on? Oh my! Oh my back! My back! My bad. No, some my boys are my my real boys using the bathroom. My bad. But anyway, back on saying is that uh, for a for a yeah. Yeah, this is that. This is coming from a guy that doesn't even like Ryuki. And trust me, I know I haven't studied Ryuki a lot because of, I don't like Ryuki. I have, I have my reasons why I don't like Ryuki. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, hey, hey. So, anyway, hold on, my bad. Du, 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 du. Sorry. So anyway, back on, back on as I was saying. Instead of yeah, I don't like fives. I don't hate it, but at the same time, you got head time. Tokyo fans, no, I'm, I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this. Okay. Token fans, you guys praise that show way too much. Like, for real. As much as people criticize fans that like Build or Gaim or whatever, those, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Those shows are overhyped too. Those shows, those shows are overhyped as well. Those shows are overhyped as well. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get those shows are overhyped. It just aggravates me how how Toku fans say saying that this one show's overhyped, I'm not it's overrated, I'm not, I don't like it. But yeah, at the same time, they praise this one other show that the exact same logic, exact same treatment as this one other show that other people like. Like, I'm sorry, but uh I'm just gonna say this. If you like Zenkaiger, that's fine. I love Zenkaiger by rail. It's a good, it's a good show. If you like if you like Go Kaiger, that's fine. But at the same time, if you if you like Go Kaiger and hate Zenkaiger, then uh I'm gonna say okay, that's fine, that's fair, that's fair. It's not for you, that's my cup of tea, that's fine. But at the same time, 
at the same time, if you're being like biased towards one over the other, then buddy, we got a problem. Because I hate because this is just a thing I see in the token community. No, in every community, I hate I hate when people are biased. But yeah, mostly Toku because you guys, you guys, stop being fucking biased. I hate I hate that. I hate when people are biased. Yeah, trust me. Definitely, there's a lot of things I hate about the community, but still. Anyway. Anyway. What are we talking about? Yeah, Fies. Fies is whatever. It's not the best. It's overhyped and overrated and overpraised. It's not really a good show. So, moving on from that. Let's talk about burritos. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not about, main reason why I'm talking about burritos is because, well... It's because of this reason. I had a burrito for for dinner. God damn it! <laughs> Before I had that burrito, your boy, your boy was, uh, your boy over here was watching some uh some video about the Japanese market, food markets, and uh you guys knew you got you guys know that Japan's version of chili dog is different from us from ours in America. So, <laughs> Japan's version of chili dog is most fascinating, and I love it. I, I can't wait to chow down on that one day. <laughs> but, uh, you see, they have, uh, they grill their chili cheese. They get grilled their chili cheese dogs. The chili cheese dogs. And, uh, <laughs> it's so interesting, too. It's so interesting, too. They grill it. Then they give you the option to put like Parmesan, well, I think Parmesan, Parmesan cheese on it and ketchup and mustard. And then now you, you chow down and say, Ikadakamas. It's very gooey. It's actually very gooey. And uh, oh, I want it. Oh, I want it. Dude, I'll tell you, where I live, there are no Japanese markets. The closest thing to a Japanese, my bad, I my mic. The closest thing to a Japanese market around my location where I live is. FYE at, at my freaking local mall, and uh, that's the closest thing to it. Besides that, besides that, that, besides that, that's just it. There's like nothing else over here. That sucks. I hate that. As much as I, as much as I love where, as much as I love where I live, dude. I'll be honest with you. Twenty twenty two has not been nice to, not have not have not been nice to me, about about about. Uh, vacation or going on a trip or whatever. Like for real though, I was supposed to go to a couple of cons this year, but uh, my me and my family got occupied with with uh real life stuff, sadly, and that was annoying. So yeah, I want to go to Power Morphicon this year, but uh, I couldn't because well, I didn't have the money. I did, and uh, it was. Too late for me, sadly. I do have plans going two years from now for 2024. So, yeah. If you see me at Power Morphicon 2024, say hello. If you want if you want, if you want, to, if you want to find me in there at Power Morphicon 2024, yell the name Bokusatsu. And uh, I, will, I will respond with saying, what? <laughs> for real, yell my name Bokusatsu. Or say, hey, look, it's, it's Bokusatsu, it's Aaron, I'm a big fan of your channel, so they're like, oh, hey, cool, yeah, nice to meet you. Trust me, I want to meet a lot of people that I'm friends with online. And, uh, I, and, uh, when, when 2024 gets here, I, I will be, and I will be talk. I will be having fun time there. But, for right now, for right, for right now, next year, my goal is my goal is to save like a lot of money, wait for like the tickets. Well, I'll well I'll say, I'll say like I'll say like wait till like the Raven Ranger Pass comes out next year, because well, that's my goal to buy tickets for me and my family to go. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Also, back with a burrito, yeah, I had a good, fat, juicy burrito for dinner. And uh, I passed out after that. I had a crazy dream, though. So, uh, 
this burrito, I had double chicken, brown rice, and fajita. Because your boy's trying, your boy's eating healthy right now. And a dude, all that hit so badly. It was so good. I had water to jug it all down with. It was so good. It was so good. It was so good. It was. It was. So, it was so good. <laughs> ah man, it was so freaking good. I ain't gonna lie to you. I want ramen now. <laughs> what? You want ramen? Yeah, I want ramen now. <laughs> I can't explain why. Yeah, I can't explain. So, uh. Do you guys. So, do you guys knew that. Oh, I know. No one needs about this, but, uh. I'll be, t I'll be real with you guys. Apparently. I just. Apparently, your boy, your boy, your boy is, your boy over here, Boku Sasu, apparently a little bit of, well, can I say this? Actually, I can say the hell, why not? Apparently, I have some, apparently I'm blazing. <laughs> What's that? It's, so, so, uh, yeah, I have some Asian in me. Nah, well, okay, on my mom's side, on my mom's side, I have like, they like, they like other parts, other regions and states down, that, that on my mom's side, but, uh, but the, but the one, but the most fascinating one that caught my attention, the Asian part, I mean, it's the Asian, uh, side of her, and, uh, honestly, I can say that, she like, so like all my years and me liking like Japanese stuff, I could totally see why. I could totally see why. Why I could totally see why. I could totally see why. Not being racist for saying this by the way, so it's off the bat. <clears throat> good man, good man, good man, good man. Sorry about that, but still I'm not being racist for saying this. But uh yeah. But yeah, uh I'm I'm blazing. I'm not like Oh, oh, okay, I'm gonna say this. Hold on. I've been thinking about this for a while. When I go to Japan, I said to, I said this to myself, I feel like that I won't feel like myself down there. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Japan's going to open a different side of me. To my uh <laughs> to my heritage and uh and uh yeah, it's yeah though. I feel, I feel, I feel like Japan's gonna open like another side of me once I go down there. I'm still trying to learn Japanese, by the way. My Japanese trash. <laughs> so, whenever I, go to, whenever I go down to Japan, I'm gonna try to speak. Well, I'm gonna try to, my hardest to speak Japanese. But English at the same time, because. And also, <laughs> also use a translator. Because, well, translators help a lot when you're a foreigner. That could not be the same language, so there's also that. So yeah, <laughs> my uh, yeah, my yeah, my Japanese is trash. <laughs> and yeah, I'm blazing. I'm not like, well, okay, I'm not. Well, yeah, I'm blazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a blazing guy. <laughs> I do have some uh, Chinese in me. What? Let's see. What else? Let's see. What else? Hold on. I have the. I have the. I have the thing right here. Apparently. So. Oh wow. Okay. I have some Korean in me, Vietnamese, Chinese, Thai, uh, Thai, Shirley. Shirley. I can't say my bad. Sorry, Indian. Oh wow. Indonesia, Beijing. What? That makes sense. That all. All that makes sense. Let me tell you something. Hit the thing. Uh, I love foreigner movies. <laughs> and uh, every time, every time I watch like a movie that's like that has like no subtitles, every, every like if the movie like if the movie like in a uh, Korean, Chinese, or Japanese, I can understand what they're saying. I know, I know, I know. Weird, right? What? It's weird. I. It, it's not weird for me. Because like, again, I can understand what they're saying, and uh, and uh, <laughs> it's crazy because like, 
it's just me, but uh, I feel like that. I feel like that I can watch like a show or movie without subtitles at times, and yeah, I can totally understand what they're saying. Some, some, sometimes it may be hard for me to understand what they're saying, but other times, yeah, no, it's totally, it's totally understand for me. It's totally understand for me what they're saying. Like hell, I'm watching Dawn Brothers all well sub to, to help to help me to help me with my freaking Japanese. And uh, I know why. Right? I know why right? watching like Japanese stuff really broke with that. We're gonna be Japanese. It has actually. It has. While I'm not, while I may be trash at like katakana and kanji, cause well, I'm gonna have a hard time with that when we get to, when we get to Japan. But uh, but uh, other stuff. I've been uh, I've been picking up. Been I've been picking up and saying to myself. Been, I, I've, been, I've been picking up, like 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 certain words in detail. I can somewhat make a sentence in Japanese. I'm not gonna say it here, but uh, okay. Hokuto Hokuto can make a So uh, I'm sorry, that was bad, but uh, I can uh somewhat make a sentence in Japanese. Somewhat, not the best, but yeah. And also, I'm still trying to. Also, I still suck at using chopsticks, so. So this is also that. <laughs> yeah, I suck at using chopsticks. <laughs> I will say that uh, this whole week, I'll be, I'll be real, I'll be real with y'all. This whole week was this whole week was annoying as. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so I got paid. I got paid this Friday. Yay, payday! Roller well, payday. Yeah, but guess what? My paycheck wasn't the best this week due to COVID. Giving me my feeling, giving me and my family the middle finger last week. Thanks, COVID. Fuck you for that, by the way. So yeah. And uh, yeah. And uh, yeah. That was that was totally fun. It was annoying. We got messy, my bad. But yeah, it was fun. And it was also annoying. And, yeah. Uh, that wasn't fun though. I hated it. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. So anyway, uh, back on. Anyway, back on. I was saying. It's uh yeah. Uh yeah, last week I had COVID and uh my paycheck I'm mad I'm mad that COVID messed up my paycheck this week. <sighs> Thank God this month's almost over because I do I'll tell you, I'll see you not. I'll see you not. This week this whole week have been nothing but a pain in my freaking ass. Work pissed me off. I just wanted to freaking. Oh god, I can't. Thursday wasn't the best for me. It was really annoying, and I hated it. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that next week is way better. Cause dude, I just want this month to end. I'm just waiting for November to get here. I'm just waiting for November to get here though. God, God damn! That's November. It's my it's my birthday month. Come on, Broker just want his SPD, his SP license. Oh crap! I should have said that. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. I, I was. Oh, damn it. Why? Why got jinx to say this? Oh wait. I was saving it for a surprise, but damn it. So. I remember talk. So I remember I said on the one of my podcasts that I, I always wanted the the Power Rangers SPD Morpher, and uh and uh Knox said Knox said that uh Knox said that uh, the Decker Ranger version was was very expensive, and yeah, he's right about that. And uh, let's just say I was lucky enough to find it for a decent price. I have my eye on it, but I'm gonna I'm waiting till I'm waiting pretty soon until like uh. Let's say okay, I'm in freaking like December or whatever. Yeah, about December, November for me to get it. So yeah. <laughs> so 
So yeah, I have my eyes on that, and uh, I will do a review on the SB license and the Memorial Kidmate Changer. <laughs> keep up, keep a video out, keep a video out for both of those because oh boy, we have a lot to talk about for those for those toys. So uh, yeah, so yeah, oh yeah, the Owl House. Uh, I watched the first episode of season three, like like sorry, like a couple like a couple hours ago. It was really good. I felt that I love how yeah I love yeah there was, I love yeah there was a vibe of defeat after the cliffhanger that was season two. And uh, damn, now that now that the gang is back, now that the gang is back to uh, now now that, now that the gang is back to Demon Realm, but Lucy Lucy Mom also joined them. Damn, I loved it. I loved it. Also, anyone ask me? Anyone ask me? Who's my favorite character in Owl House? It's Willow. It's Willow. I love this girl. Willow's my favorite character. Cause she reminds me of myself, though. Honestly, honestly, all of them, all of them remind me of myself. Losing her friends. All, but, but I see myself mostly in Willow because, well, Will, well, Will, Willow's character are with basically her being, being well, bully a lot. And uh, be, get treated like crap and underestimated, and uh, as someone who as someone who felt the same pain and felt went through the same thing, I saw that in myself. I saw that in her. I saw that my, I saw myself in her. And yeah, it's always. I want to say this. I want to say this. I want to say this. It's always good to find a character that you can most relate to in, in the show, in anything because because that because that just proves that. It just proved that the one show is meant for you. Like for real though. I said in my care major review that uh, judo reminds me of myself because I have ADHD. Yeah. Judo character <laughs> reminds me of myself with that. It's, uh, and I said I said, damn. Damn, uh Shit, I may see myself in judo. And I love and I love that about care major. If you want to hear my whole thoughts on Kira Major, I made a whole podcast episode on it. Go check it out. But I love it. I love that show. My second favorite Sentai show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's always it's always good for you. It's always good for you guys to find like a label character you see yourself in. I see that myself. I see that in a lot of characters myself as well. Like you know, I can even like five characters that I can relate to and. In fictional media, we got Sukasa from a uh, decade. We got Sento from Build. We got Bridge from SPD. We got Luke, not Luke. We got Willow from the Owl House, and we got uh, let's see, who, 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 who. let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, so much. I would say Sen as well, but no. Uh, we got Broly, well, Dragon Ball Super Broly, I meant to say. And we also have, uh, and we also have, like, Takumi from Common Advice. And just for, just for, just because, uh, just because, I'm going to say Sento from Common to Build. As well, I think it says Sento, but yeah, Sento as well. I know, I know that isn't seven, but uh, Sento was honorable mention. So yeah, this, yeah, I forgot one more. <laughs> There's also Billy from the 2017. I mean, not no. You also we also got Billy from 2017 Power Rangers movie. <laughs> now, if you talk, I want to say if if you talk about that movie, if you talk about that movie, I just want to say this. We'll say this. I just want to say this nice and straight. The nicest way possible. That movie isn't that. That movie isn't bad. I just don't care for it. Because I. Dude, what the hell? Where the hell were. Where the heck were the fans that were. Where, where the heck were the people that didn't like the movie on 2017? But now, people are praising it the next best thing, saying. Saying that this cat deserves so much more. We need that back for a sequel. 
we ain't getting a sequel because Hasbro ain't Hasbro ain't interested in doing doing another movie with that cast. Man, I'm sorry, for real, for real though. Hasbro doesn't want anything to do with, with the 2017 movie. Hate me for saying that, but it's true though. Because Hasbro didn't Hasbro didn't own the rights when that movie came out. No, Saban did. That movie was a flop in the box office. Be mad, be mad when you want, but it's true though. It was a it was a giant flop in the box office though. Oh yeah, yeah. What 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 else we gonna talk about? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, my, ch I want to say that uh, to all the new, for all to all to all the new people that like that see that are like subscribed to my channel and all that. Thank you for staying with me, Cabo. I've been. Lately, I have been uh in a flunk, you can say. Yeah, I've been in a flunk for like for like creativity, which is why I have been which is why I have been doing like a lot of videos and all that stuff. And I want I want I want I want to do more, I want to do more toy reviews, but at the same time, I just I just don't know what. And also, uh, I also I'm waiting, I'm waiting for like I'm waiting for like other pre orders to come through. So yeah, what's up with that? I could do my review on Bill Genius, but at the same time, I like that figure. But at the same time, I just, I just don't have, I just don't, I just don't have like any energy to take new pictures. Sadly, so yeah, that just breaks me hard. Oop, my bad. Sorry about that, but yeah, but yeah, that's just that's just breaking my heart, and uh, it sucks. It sucks though. It actually sucks though. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, yeah, though, it sucks though. I'll be honest with you, my my creativity comes out no my my like creativity for like pictures all that come out of nowhere. At times it just, at times I try to find a way to save it, but at other times, other times just other times just yeah, other times there are like that one thing that comes in my way from me enjoy my me enjoying my creativity, and having fun. Talking about, talking about, talking about work, but yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I gotta find a new job next year. That's way bread than fix that work. But again, they making money there, so yeah. But at the same time, you find a place that I can like, that I can like and have fun. But I'm actually not, dude. Where I live, it's so hard to find. It's, it's hard for me to find a fucking sorry. It's hard for me to find a job that I love. Because like I've been looking every day and dude I can't find nothing that call I can't find nothing. Because like it's so limited where I live and I hate that. I hate that it's so limited over here. Like dude, what the heck? Ugh, Ugh whatever. No not whatever, it's stupid. Let me say we say, where work is sometimes fun, but other times it's just stupid because do. I get do people because do people people give me attitude there, not just my employ, not just the employees there, my managers does, my one of my bought well, well, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my freaking uh, my freaking uh boss. One of my bosses did as well. Customers, it's so annoying. So annoying. The rules there at times are just stupid and make no fucking sense. I'm like, why are you telling me this? Yeah, I already knew that. Please do not, if you don't, please do not get, please do not get, have this talk with me. Okay? 
I'm trying to get my money. I'm trying to work. I want to get the hell out of here. And like, also at at times that at times where I work, that place is just desperate because like, because like, because like a couple of managers and my boss are trying to are trying to beg me to stay after after my shift's over. I tell them many times, no, that's not my problem. That's your guys' problem. You take care of it. I don't want to, I don't want to do with that crap. And yeah, I don't. I actually don't. I actually don't I actually don't want to deal with that crap whatsoever. And it's annoying. Thrilled it. Actually it's really annoying though. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm on the rant there. Actually, yeah, no, I'm sorry. My bad for going my bad for going on that rant there, but yeah. But yeah, okay. I wanna talk about more about the owl house. And get you ranger, but more our house. Dude, uh, I could be honest. That one scene, oh, spoiler for those, spoiler for those that haven't watched the first episode, but uh, that one scene with uh, that that one scene in the uh grave with in the grave of in the grave. Oh boy. Oh boy. The, the first shot, the first shot of that scene in the grave, in the graveyard, was, gave me, was really a little, what was like, how it? it was creepy, though. It was creepy. It was actually creepy, though. I was like, damn. Damn, I like it. Because, well, it's October, though, but, but still. Hey, man, the Owl House is back for season three. Hell yeah, I can't wait to see more episodes. I, I love this show. I love the show. <laughs> ah man, I love cartoons. I think, I think like the last time I enjoyed like a cartoon fully was was like when was this? When, when was the last time I enjoyed a cartoon? Oh yeah, I think it was the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle TV show on Nickelodeon. I love that show. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's the last time I I fully enjoyed a, t- a cartoon. Hey, I know, I know, I know that cartoon. I know that show, that show is that show is on cartoon. Technically, it is though. It is though. While the an- while the animation is in C while the animation is CGI. At the same time, it is, par- it is appearing on the kids show network. So technically, you could call you can't call that a cartoon. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! I miss that. I did do. I miss that. I miss uh. I I miss watching a good cartoon because I to be honest with you I can't keep up with freaking I can't keep up with a uh, freaking uh, anime and all that to this very day. I mean, I love anime. There are a few there are a few anime I can keep up with. Like, I still need to go. I still need to go read more JJK manga. I left off a of chapter four and that went back to it sadly. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I'm I'm watching new My Hero. Love the first episode. Love the late episode came out today. <laughs> I have not touched the manga for my hero. I had pl- I, around twenty nineteen. I was supposed to read it, and I yeah yeah I had I had like the first chapter on my on my desktop ready to read, but I just I just I just didn't read it. Didn't care for it. I will go back. I will. I will go back to JJ. I will go back to JJ. I will go back to Jujutsu Kaisen manga very soon, though. But yeah, season two is coming out next year. I can't wait for that, though. I love season one. So, uh, yeah, I I can't keep up. I can't keep up with with like a lot of anime. For the for like that one anime that caught my attention, I got I gotta be impressed. Like. Okay, so 
Do you know so do you know so do you know how a burger is nice and juicy and yummy? What what make that burger juicy and yummy? The taste, the flavor, and the appearance. I put all of that in the logic of me watching an anime. I gotta taste the anime. <laughs> okay, no, I'm gonna say that for being dumb, but uh, you got you got you, you gotta taste the flavor. You gotta like the you gotta like the appearance and you, and and you gotta get a nice juicy flow from one bite of it. That's pretty much me with anime. Cause I do I can't watch a lot of anime. I can't I can't keep up with many animes in a great day. Like for real though, I don't like One Piece. Don't like I don't like Naruto. I don't, I don't care for Naruto though. Bleach, well. Well, I, I do have ten, I do have plans to watch the show and the Brent and the original and the reboot that just came out. The continuation, which which I do gotta go to I do gotta go watch the first episode. So yeah. Black Clover? Oh I like Black Clover. I know what episode I left off of Black Clover, so yeah. Fairy Tale, I love Fairy Tale. Jojo I like part four. The whole show part one, two, and three are overrated. Mostly part three. Sorry not sorry, but part three is kind of, part three is mid. Just gonna say that I'm gonna die in the hill. Yeah, uh, Jojo Bizarre Adventure Part Three is mid. Mid. M I D. It's mid. Just, just yeah, it's mid though. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot of Jojo fans coming after me now for saying that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But uh, yeah though. That's just that's just my that's just me. I don't know. Also, what's it? A lot of people have been asking me, "Hey, hey, Aaron, hey, Aaron, hey, Boku, hey, Aaron, have, have you watched Demon Slayer?" I'm like, Demon Slayer. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just got to do that. I'm not watching Demon Slayer. I'm just quit right now. I do not care about Demon Slayer because, goddamn people, that show, that show, that anime is so overrated. I'm sorry, it's overhyped. <laughs> and I can't say much about it because I haven't watched the show. Because I don't want to watch the show. I don't really care for it. But yeah, but it's just, but people praise that show. People praise on the show way too much. In the words of RCD, uh, RCD World uh, Anime House Part 6, y'all dick riding that show. <laughs> Excuse my language, but for real. But for real though, excuse me, lady, for saying that, but still. And also, I, also, I, I, I hate, I hate, I hate, I, I fucking hate, I fucking hate anime fans. Let me, let, let me explain. The toxic, the toxic, annoying anime fans. Because I do, I tell you, any trailer is so unbelievable, annoying. And just got for me. I, I used to be on I used to be on Andy Twitter a long time ago. So I got a story for y'all. I made a video around like twenty twenty talking about why why I didn't why I deleted my old Twitter account because I got in a little bit of an argument with a certain uh with a YouTuber named Jack's Blade. Now I know a lot of people know him and uh yeah, that was like two years ago. He, I, I can't, he, I can't, he, I can't. He don't, rec he don't really recognize me because well, because well, that that was my old account and uh, and uh, what happened between you two? No beef though, but uh, it was two years ago. This happened. It was two years ago. This happened. This was two years ago. This happened, but uh. A friend of his made a tweet saying how Sailor Moon can be Goku, and I gave my reason, which I, f I forgot. I forgot my reasons were, by the way. But uh, yeah, he his friend, a friend of his made a tweet talking about how Sailor Moon can be Goku, and I gave my reason. How, yeah, I disagree with him, and uh, and uh, he and uh, his his friend didn't like what I said, and and uh and uh I didn't agree, I I didn't agree with all his reasons. I gave my reason, and it was it was, it was fine. 
Then, uh, then Jack played one other guy came in, and that was just annoying. It was just annoying, though. I blocked him on that old account, by the way, and, uh, and, and, and after that drama, Jack played was just being an ass. He was just being an ass by, by, by trash talking me after I blocked him. Like, dude, really? Just really? Really, dude? Yeah, at the same time, the, the, the fucking, the fucking moron put on his banner, a picture of Goku dead from, from the one episode of Super, with, with a picture of Sailor Moon next to him. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Why am I bringing this up? I just, so we're talking about Andy Twitter, and this, we're talking about, we're talking about, Andy, we're talking about Andy Twitter, and this just came up, so yeah. This was two years ago, by the way. So, yeah. But, uh, now, looking back at it, that drama was stupid. And I'm actually happy that, I, I'm actually happy that Jack Ray doesn't know who I am. Because, well, I don't want him to. So, yeah. And let's just say, my old, let's just say that, uh, my old, my old account, my own account Andy Twitter wasn't that it was garbage. I made a piss off a lot of people on Andy Twitter. I got blocked by a couple of voice actor and actresses. I got blocked by uh let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else who else blocked me? Oh yeah, a couple of anime fans. Lynn Cara blocked me on my old account. I blocked him on my new account. I blocked him on my I block him on my current account right now because, well, I hate the guy. Yeah, uh, Mars Girl blocked me. Well, again, then, again, then Mars Girl is, Mars Girl is a piece of crap human being. So yeah. And what else? Oh no, that's it. No, that's it. I can think of. That's just, that's all I can think of. That's all I can think. Speaking of drama, let's talk. So, so let's talk about. So let's talk about what's going on with the, with the token community and drama. Uh, whew, well, we had two, and uh, and uh, and uh, I have my I have my uh, response to them. Okay, so one of my friends, so one of my friends, have been getting in drama with a couple of. With, with a couple of weird soldier fans, and uh, he made a tweet about it, and and few people didn't like he said, other other understand why he made it. Now hear me. Let me say this. Let me say this. I'm not gonna create. I want to say this. Please do not go on my DMs. And, and please do not go on my DMs to talk about my friends behind my behind my behind their behind their backs because dude dude that's just that's just that 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 isn't it my guy no that's just no no that's listen that's their problem that's their drama let them take care of it if you don't if you, if you don't if you don't like, if you don't like what they said. Do a lot. If you don't like, if you don't like what they said, there, there's one thing you could do. What you could do? Just ignore it, okay? Just ignore it. Just ignore, okay? Just ignore it. Don't, don't fucking harass about it or exaggerate or or turn for a cent. Just ignore it. Like scroll past it or something. Hell, Long Beach Griffey said in one video to get past. To get past drama or something, do you remember what he said? If you don't like if you don't like if you don't like what someone's saying, just pass through the tree. That's it. Just just go past through the tree. That's all. That's all. That's all. Like for real, bro. That's all. Like for real though. Why I don't agree why I don't agree with like with like everyone's opinion on Toki Twitter because well at times I question people. At, I was saying this. At times I, uh, at times I just, uh, at times I just question people's 
taste, and uh, that's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna sound like a jerk for saying that, but uh, I, but uh, I just, I just do. I know, shame on you, book. You should be saying that. I know, I know, I know, I know. But if that, but, but that's just me. That's just me. But that's just me. If you like this one thing, you don't like the other thing. That's totally fine. So all I'm gonna ask, all I'm gonna ask, just please give me a fair argument and reason why why this one show isn't for you. Why you don't like this one character. Let me say this. I know two of my friends, two of my friends who are hosts, who are two of my friends that won the awesome by Ray funny uh Tokusatsu podcast called one Ray one Ray po- one Ray Tokusatsu po- one Ray Tokusatsu podcast. <sighs> One way, you know what I'm trying to say. All say Knox, okay? So, 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 so Knox made a treat like a couple of days ago. I, I think a couple of days ago, or like yesterday, he wanted to. He made a treat, a thread, talking about, talking about Vice's voice actor and J.K. Rowling. And, uh, that treat got a lot of interesting interactions, you could say. All right, guys. I'm not gonna be biased for saying this. I'm gonna be honest. And uh, a moron, some idiot, some idiot went after them and tried to slander their names. And uh, hit him. Here's my response to that. What were you? What were you doing? Like, Crescent, Like, for real? Were you? Were you just bored or something? Like, for real though. Were Were you just bored or something? That like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I saw, I saw this guy's tree. So, 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 what I'm going to do today? I'm just going to slander him because why not? So, I'm going to guess that, uh, I'm going to guess that, uh, you're the type of person that's bored. So, so, what should I do? Slander two, slander two people, slander, slander, Slander two guys on the internet for no reason because well you're bored. You could have just you could have just do you could have just done just scroll and move away, move on. But no, but no, just but no, just no, but no, but no. You know, that moron decided to be a freaking idiot about it. Ugh. At times, I question pe- I question people on Twitter about, about why the heck do you follow this person? This this person is a scumbag. Why are you following them? Cause I question that a lot on Twitter when I see when I see my friends following like one scumbag. Like, why? Why are you following this scumbag? <sighs> oh God. Dude, I hate Twitter. I hate I hate Twitter in general, though. So yeah. Ugh. I will say that. I will say that. I'm gonna say it again. Please, next time, please do not go on my DMs and talk about my friends behind their backs because one, that's shady, and two, that's their business, not mine. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to get into that drama because, well. I hate drama, and I and I, and I just came out a few drama. I just came out a couple. I just came out of drama like a couple of, like a couple of weeks ago. I think it was last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week with a certain someone. If you know, you know who I'm talking about. But still, just please don't, please don't, please don't go on my DMs and talk about if one person behind my back. That's their problem. They have their reason why why I don't agree with why I don't agree at time why why they made that treat why they made these treats but at the same time we're all human beings we all make mistakes so yeah all right all right I think all right, I think it's all for today so uh, <laughs> uh my send off my send off uh yeah uh, if I go to Japan eat a grilled chili cheese. Eat a grilled chili cheese dog on a stick.
have Chipotle for breakfast or dinner or lunch, whatever the hell. Uh, use chopsticks. I can't use chopsticks. I suck at it. Watch the Owl House. Watch Geki Ranger, apparently. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, stay away from any Twitter, and Tokyo Twitter, for drama free stuff. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's it, though. I think so. Yeah, I think that, I think that's it, though. I want to say this. Please do not attack any of the people that I said on this episode of my podcast. I was just, I was just explaining, I was just explaining old drama and new drama. For, yeah. So please do not harass any people I said on this podcast episode. So, yeah. Also, I will say that please give a shout out to the one way Tokusatsu. Please give a, oh, oh, wait, hold on. God damn it. Crap, I'm too tired for this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Your boy, your boy just wants to watch the Your boy just wants to go watch the new episode of Bone Brothers. Please give a shout. Please, uh, please subscribe to the, <laughs> please subscribe to the Runaway Tokusatsu podcast. I'll put a link in the description, Karel. You Karel. They're funny stuff, and go watch my guest episode because I made I did appear I did appear one episode. We were talking about X Aid and how yeah, Ghost is better than X Aid. And yes, you guys are not ready. You guys are not ready. To, you guys are not ready for that topic yet. But uh, yes, Come Rider Ghost is better than X Aid. Come Rider X Aid. You guys aren't ready for the discussion yet. No hell, fuck it. Just my podcast. Just my podcast. Here, here's another hot take. <clears throat> Saint Kaiser is better than Go Kaiser. So yeah, that so yeah, we have fun here. We have fun here tonight. I can say, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media. Follow all my social media description. My name's Aaron, and uh, yeah, enjoy this episode of the Broku Cast. <laughs> and eat, and eat burrito. Yeah, eat healthy though, and stay safe. Yeah, bye.